Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to create stunning 3D kids learning videos completely free. We all know that kids love bright, colorful animations and beautiful 3D visuals make your videos so much more engaging and fun to watch. A great 3D animation can grab a child's attention, help them learn faster, and keep parents coming back to your channel for more. And here's the best part, kids never stop watching these kinds of videos. Every year, there's always a new child growing up and discovering fun nursery rhymes and learning songs. That's why this niche is a goldmine, your videos will keep getting views for years and never expire. Plus, the YouTube algorithm keeps pushing these videos, earning you thousands of watches, likes, and shares, making it easier for your channel to get monetized this year. So make sure you stick around until the very end, because I'm going to walk you through, step by step, how to create your own kids' nursery rhymes with amazing 3D animations using a free AI app that anyone can try. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a nursery rhyme video with eye-catching 3D animation visuals. Let's get started. Before we dive in, if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos on animation making. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with your friends. Step 1. Finding music. To choose which nursery rhyme to create, I'm heading to the YouTube Audio Library. The YouTube Audio Library is a free resource full of royalty-free music and sound effects for your videos. It's easy to search by genre, mood, or duration, making it perfect for finding nursery rhyme tracks. Best of all, everything you download is safe to use without worrying about copyright issues. All you need to do is type nursery rhymes into the search bar in YouTube Studio. And in just a few seconds, you'll see a wide selection of nursery rhyme music you can use for your videos. Let's play a few and listen to how they sound. The farmer in the dell, the farmer in the dell. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I. -E -I. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb. The itsy bitsy spider went up the wall. In this tutorial, I'll be using the itsy bitsy spider nursery rhyme. So, let's download it and get started. Step 2. Creating Image Prompts To create detailed image prompts for us to generate images later, we are using ChatGPT. Just head over to ChatGPT and ask for the lyrics of Itsy Bitsy Spider, click the Generate button, and within seconds, ChatGPT will give you the complete lyrics. I asked ChatGPT to change Climb to Went because the version of the song I'm using has Went instead. In just a few seconds, ChatGPT updated the lyrics for me. Next, I asked ChatGPT to create detailed image prompts for each line of the song. I hit Generate, and in just a few seconds, ChatGPT provided the complete set of image prompts for Itsy Bitsy Spider. Copy your image prompts and save them in a document, so you can easily access them later. Copy the spider's character description from the part 1 image prompt, then paste it next to the word spider in the other image prompts. Be sure to enclose it in parentheses. Step 3. Generating Images To generate images for our nursery rhyme Itsy Bitsy Spider, I'll be using Veer. Veer is an AI-powered tool designed to generate high-quality images from text prompts. It's simple to use, making it perfect for creating consistent visuals for stories and songs. With Veer, you can easily bring characters and scenes to life, even if you're not an artist. To access Veer, simply search Veer on Google. Click the first website that appears, you'll recognize it by its yellow V icon. Make sure you open the correct link it should be, https colon slash slash vheer.com. To start generating images with Veer, click on AI text to image, then select generate image from text. Next, go back to your document and copy your first image prompt, then paste it into the text box. Choose the model you'd like to use, I'm selecting the quality model and set your aspect ratio. For this project, I'll use a 16 by 9 landscape format. Finally, click Generate. In just a few seconds, Veer will create the first image for our song. Once done, click the download arrow to save the image to your device. 
Repeat this process for all your image prompts of your song until you've generated all your image prompts in Veer. Just follow the same steps. Copy, paste, select your model and aspect ratio, and hit generate until your entire nursery rhyme is ready with beautiful visuals. And here are the images we generated from our prompts using Veer. Amazing, isn't it? Step 4, Image to Video. To bring our images to life, I'll be using Veer. To generate a video from images in Veer, simply go to the Image to Video Generator section on the Veer website. First, upload your image. You can drag and drop your images into the upload area, just make sure your image format must be supported with this app. You can check the supported format here. Next, customize your prompt. A basic video prompt will auto-generate. Add descriptive keywords if you want control. In this image, I just want my character move. So I edit the video prompt and type, the character is dancing. Then adjust your preferred settings. Choose the video format, length, frame rate, and dimensions. Once you're ready, click generate. Wait for the process to complete, and in just a few seconds, your image will be turned into a video. Next, download your clip. Once ready, download the MP4 video file. All videos are watermark free. Repeat this process for all your images until you've turned each one into a video clip. Just follow the same steps and you'll have a complete set ready in no time. And here are the video clips I generated using Veer's image to video feature. Be sure to name them in order so it's easier to edit your video later. You might be wondering why I have so many video clips that's because I recreated some images when the animation didn't turn out the way I wanted. So, I generated new versions and will simply trim and keep the best parts during editing later. Step 5. Video Editing To put everything together into one complete video, I'll be using CapCut. To get started with CapCut, first import the music for this project, then drag the track onto the timeline. Next, import all your video clips, then drag them onto the timeline, placing them above the music track. Then, set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 in landscape format to ensure the video is the correct size. Next, drag all the video clips and the music track to the right to make space for the title at the beginning. To create a title image, position your cursor on the scene you want to use as the title, then click the three lines in the upper right corner of the preview screen and select Export Still Frame. The image will automatically be added to your media library. Drag it to the very beginning of the timeline to use it as your title image. Next, go to the text section and drag a default text box onto the timeline, placing it above your title image. Replace the placeholder text with your own title. Then, head over to Effects to choose a text style you like, and finally, go to Animations to add movement to your title text. Next, go to the Text to Speech section and choose a voice for your title. The Itsy Bitsy Spider. The Itsy Bitsy Spider. Simply select the voice you want, click Generate Speech, and the voice track will automatically appear beneath your title text. Move the voice track and title to the right to make room for the video's intro sound. Next, go to the audio section, then select sound effects and search for an intro sound suitable for kids. Play a few options to find one you like. Once you've chosen your sound effect, drag it to the very beginning of the timeline to serve as your video's intro sound. Next, add an animation to the title image. Click on the title image, go to the animation section, and choose the animation style you want. Simply click on your chosen style, and it will automatically be applied to your image. The Itsy Bitsy Spider! And that's it! The title is complete! Next, we can arrange the content for the nursery rhyme. All you need to do is listen to the song and match the visuals accordingly. Select the video clip that aligns with the lyrics being sung. If needed, trim the clip to get the perfect visual for that part of the song. Continue matching video clips to the song until you reach the end. Now, let's add captions for the nursery rhyme. 
Go back to the song lyrics and copy the first line. Then, return to CapCut. Go to the text section and drag a default text box onto the timeline. Paste the lyrics into the text box. Customize the style using text effects and add an animation to make it more engaging in the video. Next, copy the first text box and paste it onto the timeline. Then, go back to the lyrics, get the second line, and paste it into the new text box. Repeat this process until you've added all the captions to the timeline. Highlight the first set of lyrics in the timeline, then copy and paste it to the parts of the song where the same lyrics repeat. In this song, the lyrics are repeated three times. And that's it! Our Itsy Bitsy Spider Nursery Rhyme is complete. Preview the video to check if any parts need adjustments. The Itsy Bitsy Spider! If everything looks good, it's time to export your project. Go to export, then enter a file name for your video. Choose the folder where you want to save it. Make sure the resolution is set to 1080p for better quality. Select your preferred format, I chose MP4, then click export. Wait until your video is ready. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy our final video. Bitsy Bitsy Spider! Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Check out our other videos too.